Well, hello there, people, and I say it's morning. It's morning for me. <laughs> it's been a long night, and it's Sunday, so I thought why not do a little bit of uh, um, funny projects and get Pantheon installed, because I don't really like Elementary OS. I do kind of like the Pantheon desktop. I'm using Pantheon, but I'm not using Elementary OS. I've been searching for a distribution that did the Pantheon desktop right. I found it, well, it, it's not 100%, nothing is 100% as, as running Elements Heavy OS. But I found a solution here, and I will guide you guys through, or I will do it with you guys. How I got this to working, and what did I get it to working on? The good old lizard. I'm under OpenSUSE, so if I open up Yast here, you can see here that I'm under OpenSUSE, and I'm running the Tumbleweed version. Which is the one we're going to use. I, I don't know what version of Pantheon this is. I do suspect that they are a little bit behind from the official Pantheon desktop release. Uh, I haven't gotten to, uh, or I haven't fiddled around with it too, too much yet. I, I just noticed that something like the notifications is transparency is a little bit out of whack and stuff like that. I don't know if it breaks under an update. I haven't run this for a long time. This will be my test VM where I will run this version of um, Pantheon that we are going to install and set up. So let's get into it. I downloaded. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed Net ISO. I will not show you the whole installation process of that. I will just show you the things that are important under the installation process. Okay, so here we are. Set the language and the keyboard selection as your localization that you want, or to the localization that you want. Basically, you just click next. It prompts you for enabling online repositories. You, of course, you say yes. You click next again. And here, here is where you can choose the desktop environment and what i will do is that i will just do generic desktop because it gives you a minimalistic ice vm environment okay, you have the uh, partition settings set it up as you want i don't really care you can also just click next and just let it auto partition it but i'm going to set it up after my liking you set up your local you do your whole credential thing in meduski here the only thing I want to do here is it's using Wicked. This is like uh, OpenSUSE's own networking tool. I will just go and use Network Manager. Because that makes it more easy to configure your network under whatever desktop environment that you want to use. So GNOME, Pantheon, whatever it is. Then you basically just click install, install. And it's going to download everything from the internet. And it's installing a basic OpenSUSE install. Look at it a little bit like a net install with a VM on it. So you just have to basically sit back, let it run its course. When we have a desktop environment up and running, like that's ICVM, I will come back to you guys and we will look at um, what we are going to do in there to get Pantheon installed and the steps to that. So sit tight and just let you install it, do its thing. Go get a cup of coffee or something like that. And we are now booted into ICVM. And this is just the, the Windows Manager that we're using here. Don't... don't Get all to, oh my god, what is this? We're not going to use it for anything other than installing the Pantheon desktop. One thing you have to do is that, oh, let, let's just use this one up here. It's a little bit easier for me to see. So if you go in here to the terminal here, if you didn't use the net install as I did, you need to update your your, your system. So it could be either sudo, zip or cipher, however you want to say this, and then up under a leap and D U P under Tumbleweed. There's a reason for that. Don't want to go into that here. Or else we just sit and talk. Uh, why is he doing two different commands? Because I was smart and I used the <laughs> the net installer. I don't need to do uh, any of that because it just oh shit I double click Firefox way too many times. My fat fingers here. So we have good old Firefox here. We also, if you look in here and you look at uh, OpenSUSE here, uh, system, we have the YAS tools and that's what we are going to do use. Because OpenSUSE is actually really, really clever and smart with this. So all you have to do is use your favorite search engine, but I'm just using the default that, that they set up here. And then you search OpenSUSE and then Pantheon. And you can see it's up here. So I'll just click enter here. And it has to localize to English for me. There you go. And I didn't spell open source right. So you're getting this this link down here. And it, I will see if I remember to put it in the description. But I am a lazy, forgetful, old, old, old man. 
anything you can see from here and down is all gray. That that's how old I am. So I may forget it. So yell at me in the comment section if I forget forget to put this link in the description. But let's click on that one. If I actually can click with my fat fingers, we get to this little thing here. And there are some options here. So they have the experimental, the stable and development branch. You want to go down to, let's see, here it says version experimental. You don't want to use that one. We have version stable. That's the one we're going to use. We have development, not going to use that one. So we want to use the stable and there are some some things here. You can click the one click install. We are going to use that, but I, I tried to use this one here. It didn't work. It could be that that install that I used to put was my primarily open source install and I have messed around with a lot of things I should not be messing around with in there so that could be why. What I did find is that this project is proprietary or uh, uh, is a priority. You need to switch system packages to the versions in this repository. More information this link down here so I will click on that one here and I think this is the link I actually will put down in the description and then you click open source and you can see here you have factory that's basically that development branch. You have Leap. Look at that as the LTS release and you have Leap ports. You can also add it manually or grab the binary package directly. But what we want to do because we are on the Tumbleweed, we click this one here. So you get this little thing here, downloads tool from, from Firefox and it says open with just one click install by default. So what this is doing, and this is, I love this with OpenSUSE. It, it, it makes my nerd thingy tingle all, all over. It downloads, uh, I think it's a YAML file or something like that. And then it opens it up in the software manager and it automatically then adds the repos you need and it installs not everything you need, but installs what you need to get a, a system or a, a Pantheon up and running. And I will show you guys what extra things you need to install. So we will just click okie dokie. And you can see now it's opening up Yast. So we will click next. It wants us to add the uh, repositories here. We click uh, next. You basically just click next, click yes. And it wants a password, a root password, and that's your account password. And I, I just have to check if... Okay, I didn't have numlock installed. Or uh, enabled, not installed. Uh, look how fucking old I am, I can't even speak. So we'll just click enter here. And it's setting up the uh, repositories for us. It asks us to... Do you really want to trust this repository? We kind of have to trust it or else we can't install anything. So let's click yes. And now it's just doing its thing. And it has installed it. So it just basically just auto uh, close that down. I was about to say auto shut down, but don't do that. And you just click the finish button down here. Let's close off Firefox. Let's close off the terminal. Let's close off everything, even our brains. And then we go into log out. And of course we want to log out and we should get light DM here. So we want to click on this thing up here. And you can see here we have Pantheon on Xorg. We want to click on that one. And I need to enable NumLock again. And now it should work. Let's cross fingers here. Well, it looks like it's working. Let's close that down. No input device. We may need to restart for this to work. As you guys can see here, we have everything we want here. We have some, you know, the bare minimum. We still have the YAS tool and whatnot up here. But there are still some things missing. You see, we have the, we can, uh, we can go in here and we can say desktop. Uh, let's, uh, I actually really like, let's just choose this one here. Appearance, text, doc. Let's make that a little bit. Multitasking. You can see here that there are still some things in here that are missing. We do have the file here. We, let, let's see what we are getting. We're getting a calculator, the calendar, the code, files, multitasking, Firefox, system settings, task, uh, their own terminal here, of course. Videos. Is that... That's their own videos. That's not parole. So we, we get like a bare bone install. So what I kind of want you to do is to click on Yast software. Log into Yast software here. If I can put that up. Let's put it there. Or let's put it so in here, you search Pan the oh, Pantheon. Now you're getting a lot of things that you can do down here. And then you you kind of, this, this is here where you need to be a little bit, not careful, but you need to be a little bit mindful of what you're doing so, so everything's not blowing up in your face, basically. Pantheon default settings, branding upstream. You can use those if you want. 
expansion desktop, desktop schemes, branding upstreams and stuff like that. Uh, they have modder here. I kind of like using this one and use the branding upstream, but now it's starting to complain. So what you just do here is that it's safe to just say these install the Pantheon modder branding. Oh, sorry, the Pantheon modder branding open source packets. A lot of people are confused about this, so let, let me explain this a little bit. This is not anything different from any other uh, installation uh, so, uh, packets for uh, packets installation software. You do it here, let's say apt, it did just say that, okay, if you're installing this, this is going to be uninstalled, do you continue? Pac-Man, I think, is doing the same. You're going to install this program, but this program is then going to be uninstalled, do you wish to continue? OpenSUSE is doing this little um, over-engineering thing that Germans really, really like to do is that are you really sure that you want to do this? And, they, and they're making it so you can't just click enter, 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 enter as you can do under Pac-Man and apt and, and those kind of systems because a lot of people break their system because they don't read this stuff here. So they just click next, 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 next and they're like, oh, nothing is working. OpenSUSE is kind enough, depending on how you look at it, to say you are going to do something that are removing a package from your system. Are you okay with that? And you actually have to click that you are okay with it. Some see that as a hindrance. I kind of like that for newer people. I want the branding of OpenSUSE to go away because it's a confliction. So I click OK. We have session branding. You can, you know, install whatever you want. What I do want is Pantheon System Monitor. I want Pantheon Tweaks, and I will show you guys why. You guys probably already know that. Then there's some patents down here. I will recommend not installing the patents. The next thing you want to do is go elementary with my dear Watson. Go search for elementary. So here we have the elementary app center. This is an experimental tool, but you can install it if you want. You can also install agenda. You have the development tools for their code application, which is this one here. And there's also here where you can install a lot of plugins. So I, I just want to install every plugin that they have. You, you just go down and you select some stuff. So I want to click accept and it's going to install a lot of things. And now it's saying here, this is also what something I like about YAST, uh, up, uh, or not update, but package tool is that if there is some a really, really important notification that you need to be aware of, the, the package maintainers have the op opportunity to do something like this here. And what this basically is package notification. You have you have notification from the following packages. And it's the elementary apps and it says here info. This is an experimental package. Info use at your own risk. Again, some see this as unnecessary, but for a for a new user or intermediate users, it's actually nice that you you are like, hey you do know that what you have installed right now don't should not work correctly or can have the possibility of not working correctly, so you are aware of that, okay? And again, it's, it's a little bit of a German thing. I am picking a lot of my German friends, but yeah. We just click finished. So let's close this down here. We, we should have tweaks installed, so if I go up here. So we have tweaks in here, and now we can then go and, you know, install a lot of themes that we have here. Again, I haven't really found a way to get the proper dark mode installed. You can install your icons, you can force dark mode if you want. You can go in here and you can mess with the fonts, you can mess with the animation speed to basically speed up your desktop. Miscellaneous, files, you can mess with that, and terminal. I do suspect that there are some settings missing in files here, like the double click thing in Medusa and stuff like that. What I want to do is I want to do this. We have installed the bare minimum Pantheon desktop. So we install a bare minimum OpenSUSE with the ICVM. Then we use the one-click install on the OpenSUSE's website to install a bare minimum Pantheon. Then we went into the package manager and we fiddle around a little bit with what we want. And again, the selection that I chose may not be what you want because again, I'm a crazy motherfucker, so I may want something you don't want. You need to be somewhat aware or somewhat versed in Linux to do this. Like you can't just be like, okay, I don't want to use Linux anymore. Oh, this fat dude from Denmark is showing me how to install Pantheon desktop. And it's really, really pretty desktop. And I want the latest and greatest from a rolling release. So I'm doing it the first time ever on the OpenSUSE. Unless you are already a technical uh, in-depth person or are working with IT or computers in general and have a good 
understanding of what is going on here. This should not be the first thing you do, because Pantheon was not built for OpenSUSE, it was built for Elements Heavy OS. So if you want to see if Element uh, of Pantheon is something for you, go and download Element Savio, try it out. You can also do it if you just want an expert to see if you can do it, but do it in a VM. So yeah, I hope this was a little bit interesting. Go try it out if you want to. Don't do it in a production machine. And you kind of need to be a little bit worse in Linux because it is asking you if you're doing what I do uh, about dependencies and stuff like that. So you kind of have to know what that is. But I just think it's funny, and I, and I do want to uh, to test this out. I just got a notification I can pick up a parcel right now. So anyway, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.